What is going on guys, it's Justin from the J Media and I'm back with another video. So today, I'll be bringing you guys more content on the DC5 RSX. So I know some of you guys love this car. Um, basically, if you guys saw a few videos back, I recently picked up some suspension D2 lowering springs as well as some Enki RPF1 wheels and some Nitto NT05 tires. And speaking of tires, these are really sticky, like I say, NT05s um, in the size 235, 40, 17, and these are 200 threadwear tires, which means these are track tires. Really sticky when it's dry, but when it's wet, it's, it can get a little slippery. Um, so on the fronts, pretty good thread life. But if you come over here and look at the rears, the rears are pretty bald. So, yeah, rears are pretty bald. Um, previous owner tracked these wheels. So, I decided since it's my daily driver, we got some fresh meat over here. So, some new tires. And you guys know whether it's my daily or it's my show car or track car, I definitely love some fresh meat and some grippy tires. Um, so, what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to feed as much meat as I can underneath the car just because I know a lot of guys like to do power mods, you know, more power to the car. Um, I personally feel like it's really important to have suspension, brake mods as well as tires. So that's one big thing people neglect. They don't want to spend money on tires and that's because they're like, oh, you know, whatever crappy tires work. Um, this is my budget build, but I also want to get some brick, uh, you know, pretty grippy tires for the budget. Um, and just to give you guys a little rundown, um, I have tried so many different types of tires on my builds over the years. So um, I think one of the first few aftermarket tires I went with uh, was the Yokohama S drives back when I had my EK Civic. The S drives, they're not super grippy like the Advance, um, but you know, they are great tires as well. So Yokohama S drives were good. Um, I've had BF Goodrich Spotcom 2 tires on my EK Civic as well. Those are pretty grippy as well. Um, and then on my Mitsubishi build, I had, uh, well, I still have the Continental uh, Extreme Contact Sport. So I believe one of the best from Continental. Honestly, I've had it for a while. I think they're okay. They're not super grippy. Um, and then most recently on the DC5 RSX, we have some Nitto NT05 tires. Really grippy, 200 tread wear. They're more known for like track tires. You could daily them, but they go out really fast. And then on the 2020 Toyota Supra, uh, we do have Nitto tires as well, so some Nitto NT555 tires, pretty grippy, but I think the Nitto NT05 tires are grippier. Um, so, that being said, I do have two tires in the rear, pretty bald. The fronts are still pretty good, but I decided since I'm changing tires, might as well change all four. So, since my daily, um, I do have to drive in the rain as well. Uh, if it's my Mitsubishi build, um, I could be like, you know, I could just pawn some 200 treadwear tires, some super sticky tires, it's okay because I don't daily drive it, especially in bad weather. But the RSX, whether it's sunny or rainy, whatever the weather is, I have to drive it. Um, so, again, like I said, I was on a budget. I looked up the NT05 tires. They were about, I think in this size that I was wanting, um, I believe they were almost like 150 to 200 bucks. So for four new tires on NTF5s, you're looking about almost $800. Um, the irony is even though the fronts, so like I said, on the current tire setup that I have, there are 235, 40, 17s. Uh, I did win a size up from the stock over there. So my stock tires were 16s. Um, those were like 215s. And even though the thread life on the stocks is still pretty good, I could still, you know, have put some miles on it. Uh, I felt like I wanted more grip, and the nt 5 definitely gave a lot of grip, really confidence inspiring. Um, but unfortunately, the rear tires were getting pretty bald when I got it since I got it used. So let me go ahead and unveil the new tires to show you guys what we have. So here we have it. These are the Federal 595 tires. So um, basically, I haven't tried these brand of tires before. Uh, I was looking into something that was budget friendly, uh, and I've actually seen a lot of guys, especially drift guys. You know, you know, drifting, you go to tires a lot. 
a lot of the drift guys were using the Federal 595 tires. I heard they're pretty grippy for the price, so I decided to try it out and give it a little review. Um, so again, never tried it. I'm not sure if it's going to be a noisy tire, but I look at reviews and they seem pretty good. Uh, I also snagged them for a pretty good price. So like I said, two, the stock ones are 215s, not wide enough. Um, and then I size up to a 17 inch wheel. Uh, you could also go 18s as well, but I went to 17s. I think it fits pretty good. 235, 40, 17s. And with these, I size up a little bit more. So 245, 40, 17s. So a little more meat on the tires. Um, I know there are guys who had 255s and honestly, I'm not trying to go wide body in RSX, at least at this point of time. Um, and I don't want my, you know, my tires to be rubbing since my daily. So 245, fingers crossed, hopefully I don't have the roll defenders and everything's good. The 235s ride awesome. They don't rub at all. I don't bottom out. Um, they're super awesome. I had it on the car since I put on the wheel. So it's been a couple of weeks and I think it's really good. But I decided to size up to 245s, a little more meat, hopefully a little bit more traction. Um, really cool. So like I said, brand new tires just came in today. Um, you can see directional tires, really aggressive thread pattern as well. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I'll be taking it over to Long's Automotive. So my buddy Long's shop, who's working on the Mitsubishi Turbo build, he'll be slapping it on the car hopefully tomorrow. So. Um, what I'll be doing is I'll give you guys a little first person point of view uh, on how the tires feel, how grippy they are, and then um, probably in a month or you know a little while after driving these tires, I'm sure I would have driven in rain and all kinds of conditions. I'll give you guys a review again. So again, these are the Federal 595 tires. I'm pretty excited to try them out. And most important thing is you guys might be wondering how much I paid for them. So um, in that size, I paid about I want to say it's about 70 bucks for each tire. So all four, I know they were about 280, they were under $300. So for tires, all four, they're under 300 bucks. I think that's really good. Um, of course, you could find even cheaper tires. I've seen some, you know, whatever brand tires going for like 50 bucks a tire in that size. But again, I was kind of iffy, you know, I want something grippy. At the same time, I didn't want to like ball out and spend like 200 bucks on the tire. Um, in comparison, the Continental Contact Extreme Sport tires I had on my Mitsubishi, I think was like, I had to replace tires before. I think like one tire was like 200 over dollars. I think it's like 250 bucks or 230 bucks for the Continental Conti uh, Contact Extreme Sport tires. Uh, pretty pricey and eh, they're okay. I had them for on the car for about three years now. Uh, I don't think they're super grippy, so who knows. Whenever the time comes, I might have to switch to more grippy tires on that. So we have all the tires loaded in the back and right now we're heading over to Long Shop, Long's Automotive to get all them mounted. Uh, so yeah, like I said previously we did have the wheels put on already and I didn't think of ordering new tires just because I thought, you know, the wheels that I bought used came with tires. Um, fortunately the NT05 tires, they're great tires, don't get me wrong, but um, two of them were pretty bald and I think one of them wasn't balanced well so it was kind of shaking whenever I drove over 70 miles an hour. Uh, I brought it to discount tire. I was trying to get it balanced because usually they do balancing for free. But um, they said, you know, because the tire thread is pretty low, they couldn't do it for me. So I was like, you know, let me just go ahead and order new tires since we're going to need it sooner or later anyway. All right, so we have the fresh tires mounted on the wheels. So a little bit bigger. The 235s came off. As you can see, the rears are pretty bald. This one's pretty good. But some of them pretty bald, so we're gonna just sell it for cheap. Fresh meat. 245. So hopefully you're right pretty good. So RSX is on the ground right now. We have AJ just gonna torque it down. And like I said, I was just hoping that they wouldn't rub. A little more meat on the tires from 235s to 245s. I was debating whether I want to go with a bigger sidewall, the 45, but I think the 40 is just nice.
All right, so we have the fresh tires, the Federal 595s front and rear. So I think the fitment looks a little better just because it's a little wider, especially in the rear. Uh, before that, it looks like my wheel was sunken in. Right now, you can kind of see it's a little bit more poke. So yeah, most importantly, tires have to drive good. So what I'll do is I'll just take my drive home. It's about 30 minutes. Um, and I'll tell you guys how it feels after I'm back home. A few moments later. All right, so I just got home after about 30 minutes of uh, city driving. So I had a little bit of stopping and going because of the traffic lights. Um, and I also did manage to get up to not quite highway speed, but about 60 miles an hour um, just to see how it feels. So all in all, I do have to say uh, this Federal 595 tire is a pretty good bang for your buck tire. Um, again, this is not the all aggressive track tire. Uh, it's a 240 treadwear tire and apparently I heard some guy said 60,000 miles isn't an issue. Um, the good thing is it grips in the rain as well. Um, there is the Federal 595 RR which is the more aggressive tire. Um, I didn't get that just because, you know, I do have to drive in the rain sometimes since this is my daily driver. Uh, I do have to say um, that it's not too noisy. I know some people, they care about the tire noise. I have an exhaust, so doesn't really hear it. Um, and then I do have to say the side walls are a little stiff, a uh, little softer compared to the Nitto NT05s that I just had. Um, so whenever I turn a corner real quick, I can feel the side wall of the tire flex a little bit. Um, but again, all in all, it's a great tire. Again, it's kind of unfair comparison to those Nitto NT05s back there just because of the price point difference. Um, for the uh, Nitto NT05s in that size, you're talking about maybe 150 bucks per tire versus the Federal 595s, I paid about 70 bucks per tire. So you're talking about twice the cost. Uh, again, for a tire that is under 100 bucks for each tire, um, I do have to say it performs pretty good. Um, you know, I like I say, I've had a whole bunch of different tires. I've tried out the Yokohama S Drives, BF Goodrich Sport Com 2s, Continental Contact Extreme Sports. Um, you know, Nitto and T 5s and most recently trying out the Federal 595s. So again, if you guys want to give it a go, I would say it's a pretty good bang for your buck tire. Um, some places don't carry it, like Discount Tire don't carry it. Um, I think Tire Rack don't carry it as well. Uh, ironically, I actually picked up the set on Amazon. Um, there's quite a few places that sell it, but if you Google online Federal 595 tires for sale, I'm pretty sure you could find it. Uh, what I'll probably do is I'll do another review maybe after a few months of driving on these tires if you guys like this video. Um, so I'll be able to drive in the rain and drive in all kinds of conditions. So I'll let you guys know how I feel. If you guys watched to the end, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you want to know when new videos are out four times a week, make sure you hit that notification bell. So you'll be able to catch up on my videos. Thank you for watching and catch you guys in the next one.